It can be difficult to process orders. Some details may vary depending on the platform, but it's imperative to process orders as fast as possible. Did you know that the estimated time of delivery influences 68% of customers' decision to purchase? As a dropshipper, you must take the order fulfillment process seriously to improve your business success. Hey everyone, this is Jean from the Deezers team. Welcome to this new video where we're going to show you how to fulfill orders on Shopify. There are different ways you can fulfill your dropshipping orders on Shopify. We're going to talk about the various methods of order fulfillment, how to choose the right fulfillment method, and how to deal with the common fulfillment challenges you may face, such as the returns and the refill. Make sure to subscribe and stay till the end. Now, let's go. Before we get going, it's important that you understand why a good dropshipping order fulfillment is important. First off, it's part of the customer experience. Your brand is built on the trust you establish with your customer. A smooth fulfillment process translates to faster deliveries and ultimately happier customers. Additionally, timely deliveries can help you reduce the customer service inquiries and the refund requests, further improving your bottom line. So it's also good for profitability. A well-managed fulfillment process helps you avoid unnecessary costs. Errors like shipping mistakes can eat into your profits. When doing dropshipping with Shopify, order fulfillment refers to sending the orders on its way to the customer. But in fact, a couple more steps are required. After a customer places an order, you need to forward the order details about the products involved, the quantities, and the shipping info to your dropshipping supplier. They take care of the picking, packing, and shipping of the order directly to your customer. You add the tracking information to the Shopify order and the order fulfillment status display as fulfilled on the orders page. There are two ways you can fulfill orders on Shopify. First, you can fulfill orders manually. Second, you can fulfill orders with third-party apps. Let's explain how both of those methods work in details. Let's talk about manually fulfilling orders first. In this method, you handle order processing manually. Upon receiving a customer order, you log into your supplier's portal or app. You then manually place the order to your supplier by copying the products, quantities, and customer shipping details. And like we said, the supplier then picks, packs, and ships it directly to the customer. Once your supplier has shipped out the order, you get the tracking information from that supplier, and you manually update it on your Shopify, and you can send it to your customer via email. Before you receive orders from your customer, be sure to configure fulfillment settings though. For that, you have to go to your Shopify dashboard, navigate to settings, and click checkout. Scroll to the order processing part and select don't fulfill any of the orders line items automatically. Now that it's done, let's see things in detail. There are a couple of ways that you can fulfill orders manually. The first one is to fulfill orders individually. Once you have got the tracking number from your supplier, you can add the tracking information to your unfulfilled order and then the order status will be changed to fulfilled. Step by step, it works like this. Go to the Shopify order page, click order number of the unfulfilled order that you want to fulfill. Click on fulfill items. Then just enter the tracking number and select your shipping carrier. Check the box that says send shipment details to your customer now. This will send a shipping confirmation email to your customer in time. Then click fulfill items to mark the order as fulfilled. The second way is to fulfill orders in bulk. By selecting several orders, you can use the mark as fulfilled button to fulfill them all at the same time. Simply go to the Shopify dashboard, go to the orders page, select the orders that you want to fulfill by clicking the checkbox. Click mark as fulfilled, and then select the send a notification to the customer's checkbox. This way, you will send your customer a shipping confirmation notification. And now you just have to click mark as fulfilled. You can also request to partially fulfill an order on Shopify. For example, if you want to remove some items and fulfill only part of the fulfillment request, then you can manually split your fulfillment request. For example, if one of the items in the order is out of stock, then you can remove it from the request so that the remaining item can be delivered to customers as soon as possible. From your Shopify admin, go to order. Select the order that you want to split the fulfillment for. Then click the three dots button and choose split fulfillment. Select the items that you want to split and then select split fulfillment. And now you can fulfill the orders the items separately. As you can see, there are various ways to deal with orders manually, but they require a lot of labor, copy and paste, and you have to pay attention to make sure you don't make any mistakes. It's also very time consuming. And that's why some third party apps exist to help you with this process.
So now let's talk about dropshipping apps. Order fulfillment with dropshipping apps is a hands-off way to fulfill your orders. For example, after you receive an order from your customer, the order will be transmitted directly to the dropshipping app. Then you can place the customer order using the third-party app without having to manually copy any information. You then just have to pay for it on the supplier platform. Once your order has been delivered to your customer, your tracking information could be synchronized to your Shopify store and the order status will be changed to fulfilled automatically. Some platforms can also help you to send fulfillment notification emails to your buyers automatically. There are also a couple of advantages to using those fulfillment apps. One, the efficiency. Automating order forwarding eliminates all the manual data entry, saving you time and energy. Two, the convenience. You can manage your entire dropshipping operation from one centralized app. Three, reduced errors. It eliminates the risk of mistakes from manually entering the order details. Four, improved tracking. Some apps provide real-time order tracking information for both you and your customer. Before you can use those apps, it's important that you know that you will also need to configure your fulfillment settings the same way that we mentioned in the previous chapter. Let's see a proper example on how to fulfill orders using a dropshipping app. To process orders with dropshipping tool, you need to connect your Shopify store to one dropshipping app. For example, you can take advantage of Deezers to make that happen. Deezers is the best top-rated Shopify app. It can not only help you to synchronize order information, status, and more between your store and your supplier automatically, but it can also help you synchronize order shipments. When your customer places an order to your store, you don't need to do anything on Shopify. You just need to process the order in Deezers to complete the order fulfillment. Log in to Deezers, look at the open orders page and access the awaiting order tab. Confirm the order details and place the order to your supplier. Then go to your supplier platform and pay for that order. After that, you're basically done. You just have to wait for your supplier to ship the order package to your customer. Deezers will automatically transfer the tracking numbers to Deezers first and then to Shopify. Your Shopify order will be updated as fulfilled once the tracking number is set up there. Deezers also automatically triggers Shopify to send the shipping confirmation email to your customers if you activate the feature, so you don't have to worry about it. Choosing the right fulfillment method for your Shopify dropshipping business hinges on several factors. Here's a breakdown to help you decide. One, you have to consider your business needs. What's your order volume? If you're starting small, manual fulfillment through your suppliers might be sufficient. As your order volume grows, you may want to explore automated solutions. You also need to know what's your product range. A wide variety of products might require multiple suppliers with different fulfillment capabilities. You need to know if specific products need special handling or packaging. Also, what's your profit margin? Dropshipping often generates lower margins. Factor in the fulfillment cost when choosing the method you want to use. Automated options can save time, but they might have a fee, while manual fulfillment can be time consuming, but potentially cheaper for you. You also need to think about the shipping speed. Manually fulfilling orders may result in longer shipping times compared to fulfillment through dropshipping apps, especially if you're fulfilling orders from a single location and shipping internationally. Do you want to deal with orders faster or do you want to take your time too? You have to choose the right fit. Start small. If you're new, be Begin with manual fulfillment or basic automation apps. As you grow, you can explore other options based on your needs and your budget. Consider scalability. Choose a method that can accommodate future growth. Opt for some solutions that integrate with your Shopify store or other flexible services packages. Think of supplier compatibility. Ensure your chosen method works seamlessly with your dropshipping supplier. Verify integration capabilities or how the manual fulfillment process works. By carefully evaluating your business needs, you can select the ideal fulfillment method that streamlines your workflow, reduce cost, and ultimately helps your Shopify dropshipping business flourish. When talking about order fulfillment, it's important that you also understand the return and refund process. Considering that your customer may issue a return and refund for fulfilled orders, you may need to create a clear return and refund policy. Define what items can be returned, the time frame for returns, like 10 days, and any condition required for it, like keeping the original packaging. Clearly outline this policy on your website and include it within your receipt. The return process for dropshipper is typically as follows. The customer requests a return. You request a RMA number from the supplier, also known as the return merchandise authorization. The customer mails back the order to your supplier, noting the RMA number on the address. The supplier refunds 
your account to the wholesale price of the order. You refund the customer for the full price of the order. Once your supplier has got the product back from your customer and you've got the refund from your supplier, you can refund the money to your customer. From your Shopify admin, go to the orders page. Click the order that you want to issue a refund for. In the return in progress section, click refund. Enter the quantity of items that you want to refund. By the way, if you don't want to send an email to your customer when you issue a refund, then deselect the send a notification to the customer. This option is selected by default. Finally, click refund to refund the customer's order and you're done. As we've seen, there are various ways that you can handle your order. It's important that you choose the right fulfillment method for you. Before you decide to manually fulfill your orders or you want to use a dropshipping app, you have to carefully study the pros and cons of each method. We're releasing new videos regularly to help you on your dropshipping journey. So make sure to subscribe to be notified of our next video. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below and as always, Happy dropshipping.